breaking news this morning, the extreme weather that hit overnight. And take a look at these incredible pictures coming in. The lightning raining down on New Jersey last night. Violent storms knocking out power for half a million on the East Coast, stranding an Amtrak train between Pennsylvania and New York. And ABC's Tom Yamas is in Washington Township, New Jersey this morning. Tom, good morning. David, good morning to you. This is the dangerous situation some are waking up to in the Northeast. Right next to me, a 50 foot maple tree that came down in the storm. The neighborhood shook when it came down. That's what residents told me. And here's the real danger. The power lines. Look at this. They're everywhere. They're on the street. They're hanging from the trees and some are so scared. They're not even leaving their driveway this morning. This is a tornado. Overnight, violent storms striking the East Coast and a nightmare for more than 100 Amtrak passengers bound for New York City stuck on the tracks for hours after a transformer exploded in the heavy winds. All the power went out on the train, the lights went out, and then they said, you're going to stay on this train, and uh, the other train's just going to push this one all the way into Philadelphia. Frustrated passengers taking to social media after no power and no lights, one tweeting, trapped Amtrak 654 from Harrisburg to New York Penn. No air, no food car, tornado sirens for five hours, no explanation. All this as power lines snapped in half with winds reaching 70 miles per hour. I grabbed my kids and I ran in the basement. This morning, nearly half a million people left in the dark. I've never seen anything like this. In New Jersey, heavy winds flipped this car over. Parts of this shopping center severely damaged. It was crazy winds. It, they were coming straight down the street. Across Pennsylvania, trees uprooted, some ending up in houses. I came up and looked out the window, out the door, and I couldn't believe what I saw. Her car and home destroyed. And check out this lightning flashing behind our capital as those storms reach the East Coast. And now this morning, the cleanup begins. And we have an update on those Amtrak passengers. They were supposed to arrive at 8.15. They didn't get there till 1.30 in the morning. As for this neighborhood, you can see the power lines are down. There is no power here. They're being told it could be two to three days. And Robin, with this warm weather, that's going to get really old really fast. It, Robin? Cer it certainly will, Tom. Thank you. Uh, we're drying out here in the Northeast, but hard hit areas in the Midwest under threat of severe weather yet again, Ginger. Mm -hmm. The same spots, yeah. Eastern Iowa, Central Illinois. That's where we're kind of focused. You see See that low just east of the Rockies? Well, it has a warm front attached, and that's what's going to lift the storms. Already is. You'll see rounds of thunderstorms, some of which could be heavy and severe at times. So we're going to take the computer model, put it through, and you can see it's dry for part of the day, but then I think it's after dinner time. Anywhere from Des Moines over to Peoria is the region that we are putting right in that elevated risk area for severe storms. Yes, there's a tornado threat, but I think that the damaging wind could potentially become bigger, especially with the later development of the storms. We keep that slight risk all the way back to Rapid City includes Sioux Falls and Des Moines. Flood watch also because there's going to be a lot of rain with these storms. Places that have already been inundated this month, Chicago included, in a flash flood watch now. Yeah, that part of the country can't get a break. Ginger, thanks.